Hi, I recently wrote an article for IERT titled, What is your racket servicing pet peeve? I thought I'd make an interesting video today. If there's one pet peeve I have about stringing rackets, it's not about the strings, but about the grip. I'll share with you how to wrap a grip properly and five ways of how not to wrap a grip. All right, let's go inside. All right, first I wanted to show you how to properly wrap a grip. A lot of you probably already know, but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, show you anyway. So I uh, have a new replacement grip here. I typically will, will, will take off the backing of the tape and get it ready so that I don't have to do it when I'm ready to put it on the top of the grip. So I'll just peel away the backing and just have it sitting on the side here waiting. All right, so basically you're gonna wrap this right-handed. I will talk about how a left-handed wrap will go. Basically, it's the opposite direction. So if you're looking at the butt cap, um, as you can see here, you're basically gonna start and um, go around the, the, the handle in a counterclockwise direction if you're looking at it from your angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel away the backing. Now there's usually a tapered end on the grip, so that's the side you wanna start at the butt cap. Um, it might seem obvious, but um, as I'll discuss later, it might not be obvious to some people um, when they're wrapping their grip. So I'm just gonna uh, take away some of the uh, backing from it, not the whole length. And uh, you can start anywhere on the butt cap. Uh, you can start on the, um, the narrow bevel if you want. Uh, basically, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I tend to like to start on the nice flat bevel right here. And uh, you wanna get it flush so the end of the grip is, is gonna be uh, flush with the butt cap. But uh, this corner right here, I, I try to angle it down a little bit actually. So what's gonna happen when I make my first wrap, I wanna just make sure that my grip is gonna overlap and not uh, have that little corner exposed. So um, yeah, you wanna hide that so it's not sticking out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press this down with my thumb here and make the first rotation. And you wanna pull it, but not like really stretch the grip out and just enough to keep it taut. All right, so there's that first uh, wrap. Again, I wanna hide that corner that um, you don't wanna have that exposed. And then you can start uh, wrapping the grip by uh, start tapering it downwards towards the, uh, uh, well, the top of the handle. All right, so basically you wanna make sure your overlap is not gonna create any kind of uh, bump. You want your grip to be smooth, unless you purposely want it to have a, a um, rib feel. But uh, yeah, about a 16th of an inch, could be as much as an eighth, but it kind of depends on the grip if there's a tapered end on, on the um, edges of the grip. So as you wrap it, you wanna just make sure that you can feel that and if it feels nice and smooth, then uh, that's, that's the goal in wrapping the grip. So right now I'm standing up and doing it. Um, I've seen, you see a lot of players, uh, touring pros on changeovers, they're, they're sitting down in their chair and they're usually wrapping it this way. That's uh, an easy way to do it. Um, you can also lie it down on a table or something more stable. Now this is helpful when you're wrapping a leather grip because what what will happen is on a leather grip you really want to stretch it and make sure that you have some um, to have more leverage. It, it helps to have this on a solid um, on a table or something that you can press down on. So um, that's a good way to do uh, leather grips. Um, another way is if I slide back here, if you put it on your leg, this is basically doing the same thing as I did earlier with the table. Uh, the only thing with this is that I, if I'm wrapping a customer's grip, I'm very conscious of uh, making sure that the grip stays as pristine as possible. So if I'm wearing sunscreen, I don't wanna do it this way because I don't want the, even the sunscreen to get on the grip. So I'm gonna come back here and just do it this way. So I'll go ahead and just keep wrapping this grip till I reach the top. And again, making sure this stays nice and feels nice and flat. 
And when I reach the end, I'm gonna mark the grip in a way that I can cut it so that the, the end is trimmed nice and um, straight at the top. So, all right, so reaching the top here, I'm just gonna keep wrapping it. Uh, all right, so you'll see that I'm getting close to the top. This is where I want the grip to end up right here, where that's the end of the pallet right there. And it's right there. So what I'm gonna do is grab my pen. And again, again, this is where you want it to end up. So you're just gonna mark there and mark that part of the grip so you can see the mark on both sides. And then you're gonna unwind it. And then you're just gonna basically cut from that mark to this mark. So uh, for this, I'm gonna just kind of hold it down here. Just make sure that the grip doesn't unwind and just go ahead and cut from one mark to the other mark. And then again, you don't want it unwinding. So I'm going to hold this with my other two fingers as I cut the, make the final cut here. I'm still holding the end, so that's not going to unwind on you. And I got my trim tape ready to go so I don't have to fiddle with it because I already took off the backing, so it's right here. And, and again, because you are using a scissors and you have everything that you need to uh, install this grip, I like to cut the end so it's angled and tends to stay on better that way. All right, so that is the grip wrapped properly. And this one has a rubber collar, so we'll just slide it down and make sure that it's right on top of that trim tape. All right, so that's how to properly wrap a grip right-handed. Here's the first way of improperly wrapping a grip called the left-handed wrap. Now, it's not too bad if you're actually a left-handed player, but Let's say if, for example, you're a right-handed player and uh, I'll see a overwrap, overgrip, or even replacement grips that are actually wrapped the opposite direction. So what I mean by that is that um, taking that same uh, example that I did earlier, I went counterclockwise in a counterclockwise di uh, direction. But in this case, I'm actually wrapping it in a clockwise direction. So for some people that don't know how to wrap it correctly uh, they'll just go clockwise instead and not knowing that they're actually wrapping it uh, left-handed so uh, if you're right-handed uh, it probably doesn't matter too much to them until you tell them so I'll make it a point to let them know especially if I know that they're right-handed um, or if I don't know um, them and I just met them for the first time, I'll ask uh, if they're left-handed, if I see a left-handed wrap. So right now I'm trying to cut this edge over here. So I'm again installing this left-handed right now. It's always a little awkward because when you're wrapping it, uh, it just feels a little odd trying to wrap it the opposite direction. But uh, again, you wanna just make sure that the top end is trimmed nice and neatly. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. And so anyway, if the player is left-handed uh, and the racket and the grip is wrapped right-handed, I'll actually mention to them if they know what a left-handed wrap is. And uh, you'll be surprised, a lot of them don't know that there is a difference because I guess rackets just come wrapped right-handed. So they just accept the fact that that's the way it is. But, um, let me just show you this, the difference between the two. And so you'll notice that uh, not only is the words upside down, you'll see right there, but um, yeah, so you'll notice that the angle of the grip is a little bit different. So if I bring these two up here, uh, yeah, so one is angled uh, this way and one is angled the other way. So again, I don't know if you can see that, but it does make a difference because it's the way that you hold the grip that makes it feel better if it's right-handed wrap. Whereas if you're left-handed, then you're getting the same 
feel that a right-hander would. So um, going back to the story about the left-hander, um, you know, just the fact that you're noticing that um, as a um, racket stringer and someone that uh, services rackets, uh, you know, your, your customers will appreciate that, that you're taking, um, you know, you can uh, um, explain to them that there is a difference. And um, if they are left-handed, I'll offer to wrap their grip left-handed. Uh, if the grip is really bad though, I would uh, recommend them replacing the grip totally. But if it looks decent and I can rewrap what's on there, I'll go ahead and take it off and then just reinstall it. Uh, the funny thing is you'll, you'll start to hear comments from your left-handed customers that they're playing way better since you wrapped their grip. So uh, yeah, anything to help their game, um, that's a good thing. For the second improperly wrapped grip, take a look at this picture and see if you can tell what's wrong with this wrap. Yes, if you notice that the top of the grip was untrimmed, you're correct. I call this the unfinished wrap. So it might have been a case where the customer didn't have a pair of scissors at the time, or maybe they just didn't know how to trim it. So if I see a racket that comes in like that, uh, I won't even offer to trim it. I'll, I'll just trim it because it it bothers me that much. Anyway, um, yeah, anything to showcase your professionalism by your attention to detail is always good if you're in the business of racket uh, service. Also, to me, having something that like that go undetected, it's like failing the handle gripping section of the USRSA certification test. So you might want to keep that in mind. Also, uh, did you notice anything different about how that racket uh, grip was wrapped? Yeah, comment below. The third improperly wrapped grip is called the wrong ended wrap. So what I mean by this is that, uh, you know, when you get a grip, this is a replacement grip, one end is squared off. And as you know, the other side is tapered. And the tapered end, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is where you start at the butt gap. But I'll see some rackets that actually start off with the squared end at the butt cap and then when they reach the end of the uh, grip they'll end up with a nice tapered cut because uh it's already built in but it's not always guaranteed that that taper cut is going to be at the end of the palette so um i usually if i see that i i'm not going to offer to rewrap it because uh, what will happen is if i do take it off the the sticky residue from the backing of this uh sticky tape will actually be kind of annoying for them to have to deal with that. So usually what will happen is uh, I'll have a customer that just says, yeah, just go ahead and put a new grip on. The next improperly wrapped grip uh, is the overlapping or uneven wrap. Now I'll see this a lot with over grips, so I'll show you a couple of examples. So uh, on this one, you can see how the overlap is, uh, it's not only a, a lot, but it's kind of uneven. So, but this is a fairly new overgrip, so I wouldn't do anything to it. Um, but on this particular one, you can see that it's uneven. You can even see over here, it's not even, it's starting to come out. So on this one, I'll go ahead and just replace it for the customer and just uh, uh, put a new overgrip on there. Now, if you see this with the uh, replacement grips, uh, it depends on the condition of the grip. If it's really worn, I'll just go ahead and recommend that they replace the grip and then that way it'll give me an opportunity to wrap it correctly. If the racket, if the grip itself is in a pretty good shape and um, I might rewrap it, but it kind of depends if there's a lot of sticky residue that might uh, be exposed, exposed to their hand. So uh, yeah, it depends on that one. But um, yeah, this is a, another improperly wrapped grip the final improperly wrapped grip is called the wrong side wrap. I don't typically see this on replacement grips because there's a double stick tape on one side, which makes it pretty obvious which side is going to be wrapped on top of the uh, racket handle. However, on over grips, I'll see this often. Uh, you know, you'll have over grips that are improperly installed um, for whatever reason. I mean, the cellophane should give an indication of which side is supposed to actually be touching your hand but sometimes they'll flip it over and uh, install the grip, you know, with the wrong side facing up. So if I see that, uh, I'll mention to the uh, customer and make sure that uh, I'll just replace it because I just want to make sure that they experience the 
the grip the way it should be um, played with. Um, so, uh, oh, there's also some overgrips that don't have the cellophane. So for those, it's a little bit less obvious, but um, basically you can just kind of feel which side feels better in your hand and decide that way. So uh, I hope you enjoyed these tips on how to improperly wrap your grip and how to properly wrap your grip. As I mentioned earlier, this was uh, inspired by an article that I wrote for IART. And uh, after I published it, uh, Mark Campanelli made a funny comment and uh, I thought I should share this with you. Uh, if you take a look at this racket, uh, can you tell what's wrong with this wrap? Uh, if you do, comment below because uh, I thought that was pretty hilarious and uh, I've seen it before so it was funny that he mentioned it. Also, uh, there was another comment made by uh, Matt uh, Steverson and uh, he said, what about those uh, dry rotted 20 year old racket uh, grips that look like they just literally came out of the garage and uh, they want to start using the racket again. So. Yeah, I thought that would make an interesting topic for my next uh, video and uh, that's what I'll be doing for next week um, and how to deal with these kind of rackets. All right, thanks for watching. Happy gripping and let your strings play.